This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 193. 17 Fitness Truths to Get You in Great Shape, part one, by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, your narrator of blogs covering health and fitness. I read to you from some of the most popular blogs out there with author permission, of course. And if you didn't know already, there are three other podcasts where we read you blogs. There's Optimal Living Daily, Optimal Finance Daily, and Optimal Startup Daily. So if you like the premise of this show, definitely check those out too. You can subscribe to them in the same place you're hearing this show. For those of you that like my inspirational quotes, just hang on there, Kimosabi. The next inspirational quote is actually embedded in this post, so we'll get to that in a second. Now, like earlier this week, I'm reading a post that is a little long, so I'm breaking it up into two episodes. I'll read the first half today and then wrap it up tomorrow. So let's jump right in and hear part one along with the quote for today, as we optimize your life. 17 Fitness Truths to Get You in Great Shape, Part 1, by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. Quote, Nothing's better than the wind to your back, the sun in front of you, and your friends beside you. Aaron Douglas Trimble. While getting in shape has been a start and stop and start again affair for me over the last couple of years, over the long run, I've become fitter than ever. I've dropped more than 30 pounds altogether, or about two stone six for the British inclined among you. I run regularly, I've become more consistent with strength training, and I've dropped several sizes in clothes. I'm not saying all that to brag. If you saw the details of how I got there, it's nothing to be proud of. I ran a marathon at the end of 2006, and then did a short triathlon, but then stopped exercising altogether for a while. I became a vegetarian and was eating very healthily, is that a word? But then I slowly started eating more junk food and gaining weight. Recently, I dropped sweets from my diet like cakes, pies, donuts, candy, chocolate, sodas, etc. And surprisingly, I don't really miss them. I've been exercising with my sister and my wife on alternate days, and it's been great. I still have more pounds to drop, but I can't complain. I'm healthy. The ups and downs of my fitness efforts have highlighted some important points for me. Key among those points, don't quit. If you mess up and stop for a while, that doesn't mean you should quit altogether. Just keep going. You'll get there eventually. And during this journey, which hasn't stopped and probably won't ever stop, I've learned a lot over these last couple of years about what works and what doesn't. What follows are some of the more important truths I've learned in the trenches that I'd like to share with you. Take from them what you will. Everyone will find different things that work for them, but I think just about all of them are important to share. Quote, every human being is the author of his own health or disease. Buddha. One, small steps. That you get fitter in stages as you exercise more is pretty obvious, I think. You might start out just walking, but as you get fitter, you might add some slow jogging to your routine and then eventually you're running three miles, several stages later. However, this really applies to everything, including diet, and many people don't realize that. You shouldn't try to change your entire diet overnight. Do it in stages. Small steps, one thing at a time, and you'll get there. Just start eating more fruits at first, for example. Then cut out sodas. Then eat more veggies for dinner. Then change your white bread for whole wheat bread. Then cut out candy at work, and so on. The thing is, you get used to each thing after a while, and so the changes don't seem drastic. A year later, and you're eating extremely healthily, that word again, and you can't imagine going back to your old diet. Small steps. This is extremely key to both diet and exercise. Two, find short-term rewards. Most people quit their diet or exercise program because they're looking for immediate results, and they're discouraged when they don't get them. But you won't get immediate results. One fitness trainer said something like, after a month, you'll start feeling some results. After two months, you'll start noticing results. After three months, others will start noticing. And that's pretty true. It takes months before you start to see the results you want. But in the meantime, you have to look for other things to keep you going. Those shorter term rewards could be simple things like the great feeling you get after a workout. That helps me stay motivated. Or you could give yourself a treat something healthy preferably, or buy a book or something like that. Three, track your progress. The scale is probably the most popular way to see your progress. 
but other ways include measuring your waist or taking photos of yourself each month. You could also track your performance. For example, do a 5K every month to see if you're getting faster or log your miles to see them increase. However you do it, you should have some kind of objective way to see your progress over the weeks and months. Otherwise, you might not really notice the difference, but the numbers or pictures will. Four, enjoy yourself. Very, very important. If you see your exercise as extremely difficult or painful, you won't be able to sustain it for long. You'll quit. If you see your diet is very restrictive or torturous, you'll go back to junk food in a short while. You must find exercise that you enjoy and find healthy foods that taste good to you. Maybe not chocolate cake good, but good nonetheless. Experiment with new recipes until you find ones you absolutely love. Above all, enjoy the whole process. It's what kept me doing it. I love my new life. Five, never ever give up. Maybe the most important truth on this list. If you give up, you won't get to your goal. Very obvious, I know. But the problem is that people don't put this into action. Messing up by falling back into junk food or stopping exercise, that happens. Life gets in the way. No one is perfect. Just forget about that stuff and move on. Learn from your failures. Adjust your plan to prevent the same thing from happening again and then start again. If you stop, that's okay. Just start again. Always start again. If you do that, there's no way you won't eventually get to your goal. Six, get a workout partner. I've mentioned this before, but it's been the key to my most recent exercise success. I began running with my sister, Katrina, who, by the way, is an incredible inspiration. She's come a very long way in the last year. And even though we're at different levels, we really enjoy our runs. When we agree to meet at 5 a.m. for a run, I have to be there or I disappoint her. And sure, once in a while we cancel appointments, but most of the time we're there and we run. And that's the important thing. These months of running with her have really gotten me in much better shape. Now, I'm also running with my wife, so having two workout partners is taking me to another level. Get a workout partner. Best move I've ever made. Seven, hear that on tomorrow's episode. You just listened to part one of the post titled 17 Fitness Truths to Get You in Great Shape by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. And like I said, I'll wrap up this post tomorrow. Some of the content is going to sound very familiar, stuff we've heard before, but sometimes we need to hear this multiple times before it sticks. And in fact, just last week, I read to you posts all about tracking your progress and how important that is. And I've gone on tangents about taking small steps towards behavior change, like changing your diet and exercise. And I love Leo's suggestion of rewarding yourself for even those small little wins The one thing I would recommend is if you're trying to lose weight or eat more healthfully, it's best not to reward yourself with a treat. It may end up sabotaging your goals. So instead, if you can reward yourself with something that makes you feel just as good as giving yourself a candy or a soda or something like that, that would be much better. Otherwise, it can end up becoming like a smoker that's trying to quit but rewards themselves with a cigarette because they were so good about not smoking. So again, for little wins, especially if you're dieting, find something else to reward yourself with other than sweet foods. And before I go, a little reminder. If you like this show, you'll definitely love the other three podcasts in our family, Optimal Living Daily, Optimal Finance Daily, and Optimal Startup Daily. They're similar in that they read to you from popular blogs, but Optimal Living Daily focuses on habit building, productivity, minimalism, and personal development. And my brother hosts that one. Then there's Optimal Finance Daily, which covers easy-to-understand personal finance blogs, and Optimal Startup Daily reads from the best entrepreneurial sites. We'd love it if you show some support to those shows too. You can simply search for them in the same place you're hearing this podcast. I thank you in advance. That's it for today. Hope you have a great Wednesday. We'll wrap up this post tomorrow, so definitely come back for that, where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism, 
from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.